G'day guys, uh, welcome back. It's been a while, um, you know, life and that, but uh, I have been reasonably busy. Uh, as you can see, I've attempted to make my own carbon fiber tail light buckets. Um, and they've come out all right. Uh, the first one was just like a bit of a test run. Um, didn't really expect to, it to, to use it. Probably thought I'd be doing three or four of these. But um, yeah, I was pretty happy with it, so I'm gonna run with it. Um, as you can see, there's a bit of, uh, where, where I laid the carbon was a bit messy because I wasn't taking too much care at the time because I thought, test run. But you know what? I sort of liked it and it's on the inside of the, the boot. So it sort of looks authentic to me, I don't know. It's just my sort of weird nature, I suppose. But uh, I thought, no, I'm gonna use it. Um, they came out pretty good. Were a lot of work. Um, I used silicon molds, uh, which I'll show you in a minute. So I made some uh, silicon molds up. Um, out of, I just bought some uh, silicon off uh, eBay, probably about 150 bucks worth of all up here. Um, I've made, I'd made a few smaller silicon molds before uh, and had a bit of success with it. So I thought I'll give, give it a go with something bigger. Uh, so yeah, and, and, and it turned out all right. I made a, a like a, a male and a, and a female uh, mold, so which sort of, which way does this go? Probably around that way. Um, oops, sorry. Uh, and originally I wasn't going to split it, but then I thought oh, it'd be a lot easier to get the air out and everything. So yeah, I've got some time lapse coming up. Um, so yeah, check that out. So. The weight savings of this was pretty massive, actually. Um, I mean, not massive in overall scheme of things, but this, just the bare shell, it's like a die cast aluminium, that weighs almost one and a half kilos, 1,474 grams. So the carbon weighs 205 so more than seven times less and to give you an idea the actual lens weighs more than the shell so the lens was 211 and the, and the whole uh, bucket was 205 so yeah quite a lot of weight saving they are strong like, like, I reckon these die casts are quite fragile. They're heavy, but if you were to drop that on the floor, you'd probably break it. Um, these, massively strong. So, plenty of strength there for what it is. So, and I just used where the, the, the um, tail lights go in, just use some uh, stuff, no, Narva. I can't remember what, I, I don't have a packet around. For there, they just clip in and out. So they work good. A little bit of hardware, just uh, anodized bolts for the inside. I'm not using studs, because they just look a bit shitty. Um, and yeah, yeah, so pretty happy with that. And, um, yeah, so enjoy the time lapse and I'll see you after the video.
While I had the carbon resin out, I decided to make a little cover. Uh, it's a, just a copy of this cover, which sits on the plenum and it's just where the, the cowl is. It uh, just sits there. Um, problem is it's got a curved surface here. It's got a raised edge around it. And uh, yeah, it was a bit difficult. So all I did was uh, basically use that as a mold like that, put some soft, uh, it's like a neoprene sort of foam, put another layer of foam. I covered it in um, like packing tape to stop it from sticking. You can see the imprint still there. This is after about a month. I've done this from the carbon. So put a bit, fair bit of pressure, squeeze it all out. And uh, yeah, it came out good. Um, again, oh God, next door neighbors. Weight savings. What's that, 123? Yeah, it's only 123 grams. But while you're doing it, you might as well, you know, 123, 22. So, yeah, quite a bit less. Simple way, simple do, pretty easy, good result. And yeah, I've got a bit of slime on that uh, time lapse, so yeah. So it's only a couple of layers, doesn't need to be much. Pretty happy with that. Fits pretty good. Just got to drill the holes. And yeah, nobody will ever see that because there's another cow vent goes over that. So wasn't too worried about the finish. And um, yeah, just thought, ah, oh, why not? Um, Yeah, so that's what I've been up to. Like I said, these, there's a fair bit of finishing work on these. Um, who knows, maybe in the future I might have another go and get it a lot better. But I wasn't too concerned. The, the outside looks pretty good. And if you, I mean, you know, so can't have it too shiny and good. Even the, uh, even my, AC, what do you call it, OCD, whatever it is, was playing up because as soon as I put the uh, new covers in, they're a bit crazed and that. I thought, well, maybe I should buy new covers for these. They're available now. Uh, sorry, lenses for these. And, uh, but yeah, so I'll leave the craze lenses in there. And uh, yeah, but yeah, pretty good. Um, while I've been messing about with those, I have been busy doing the wiring in the car, um, which is pretty tedious. And that's, to be honest, that's what's taken up a lot of my time. It's just slow. Uh, I've done lots of wiring bits and pieces over the years in cars, so I wasn't scared of it or anything. But it is slow and painful. And you think you've got it, and then you go, mm, I, think I thought of a better way of doing it. So you, you change it again, and you change it, and you know, just where you're routing the wires and everything. So. Yeah, but it's something different, so it was a change is better than a holiday, so yeah. So, yeah, and I spent a couple of weeks in Bali, which was really good as well, so that was a good break. But um, I'll get another video up very shortly of the wiring, uh, I'll go over that in more detail. Like I said, you don't want to be seeing me doing bloody crimping wires and shit like that, it's, it's boring. But I'll show you how I've routed it and my theory on it. And this is a little bit, a little unusual for a wiring loom in a car. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll the next video, I'll have a bit of that. 
um, but yeah it's getting there slowly anyway thanks for watching appreciate it and if you still made it this far yeah yeah but pretty happy might have a go at a few more things with the carbon um, pretty easy to work with the silicon was quite easy to work with so don't be scared of that stuff it's that's really you can use tupperware containers to make your little molds or whatever parts you want it's real it's actually pretty good um expensive but but good and um yeah like i said with the with, this was such a complicated part i didn't really want to vacuum bag it or anything like that because trying to get the the seals and, and and it's just as much work so i thought yeah i'll try the molds Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Away they go. And Alan Bosch gets going more quickly in first gear. I don't think he's working the car hard as he lets Colin Bosch jump to the front and head into the corner first. He positions himself behind Bosch. You can see now how the, the uh, Carlton is certainly catching up to Bond, so there's no doubt who's got the legs. Alan Moffat was saying he was building the carpet down the straight, now he may be out brakes, but let's see, it's side by side, Bond is going a little later, he'll take a very difficult line on the outside. Moffat is not going to let him through, in fact he's closed up again because he knows he's got the line, and he's going to shoulder the column Bond out of it if he possibly can, and now it's all acceleration up to the line. This is only third lap, and already it is neck and neck, side by side. Imagine the cheer from the crowd, it is Bond who's got the better gearing and has more acceleration, and it is Brock who's behind who's closed on them both. But it's first in this time and being so close to Bond's nose is Moffat around the bend and now Alan Moffat leads the race and Peter Brock pulls out and decides that he might like to lead for a, a change and he goes up on the outside of the... Yeah. 